Hello. In this video, we're going to keep looking at systems of equations, specifically some word problems. And we're going to look at a word problem that includes speed equals distance over time um, relationship. These are great problems. They always um, are a little bit of a challenge, but one thing that's really useful in these problems is um, a picture. In fact, a picture is always good if you don't know what to do. Often people want to know what, how to approach the problem before they get into it, but sometimes it's just a matter of playing around with what you have. So let's start this problem by writing down what we have. So um, Sasha travels from Winnipeg to Calgary. So um, we're going to call this Winnipeg. We're going to put another point here. We're going to call that Calgary. Uh, spelled wrong up here. <laughs> so it's traveling from here to here. Now, um, some portion of that trip is done by train. We don't know how far. And then some portion of that trip is done by um, bus. And I don't know how far. So let's start by looking at um, what we know about the train. The train travels nine, 90 kilometers per hour. So train, um, let's start with the speed. So the speed is equal to 90 kilometers per hour. Really important here, check the units. Um, you want to make sure your units match um, as you go through. So if your time happens to be in seconds, notice our speed would be in hours, so we'd have to do some conversions here. Also, picking units that make sense for the situation is really important. Um, if we're dealing with speeds of trains and buses, kilometers per hour is a pretty good unit to use. Um, meters per second, probably not as good. So, let's talk about the time. Well, we can see in the question that if, it, if the total trip takes 14 hours, so if we know the total trip takes 14 hours, in part by train, it doesn't say how much by train. So let's make that variable t sub t for time of the train. And we need now look at the distance. So it says the dis total distance to the trip is 1,210 kilometers. But again, I don't know what portion is done by the train. So let's call this d sub t. Now let's look at the bus. So the bus, it says, is traveling 80 kilometers per hour. And again, break those units down. For those of you studying physics, it's good practice in math to put units down. It will help you in physics. Again, we don't know how long they traveled by by um, bus, so let's just call that T sub B. And I don't know how far they traveled by bus, so let's call that D sub B. Okay, so the next thing that's useful in these types of problems um, is to write down a couple formulas we can, or equations we can pull out right away. Well, we know the total trip took 14 hours. So I know that the total trip is T sub T plus T sub B, and that's equal to um, 14 hours. I also know that the total distance was 1,210 kilometers. So that means that the distance of the train plus the distance times the bus is equal to 1,210 kilometers. Now this is often where students will look at this and see a whole bunch of numbers and letters um, and not know what to do. And again, one of the best strategies here is just to play, kind of plug things in. As you, as you play around more with the math, you, you start to get a better feel of what you need to do. And that only comes with practice. Um, and I always like to remind my students, remember the letters are more scared of you than you are of them. So don't be intimidated by lots of letters. Just you have to kind of play around and work through. So let's let's do that. So what I'm gonna do here is is I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this second equation here and I'm gonna use my relationship. I'll just write it up here. Speed is equal to distance over time. I'm actually going to rewrite this as speed times time equals distance. So we're going to take the second equation here, and I'm going to say, well, the speed of the train times the time of the train. So actually, let's just do this right away. We know the train's traveling at 90 kilometers per hour times the time of the train plus um, the speed of the bus, which is 80 kilometers per hour times the time of the bus, and that's equal to 1,000. 210 kilometers. So now I have two unknowns, but notice the really useful thing here is, is what I've done is I've actually gone and changed this equation so that it's in terms of time. I could do the same thing and rewrite this equation here in terms of distance, but this is this was the, the path that I took. Whether or not it's the most efficient path, that's something to discuss and think about. So now I need to rewrite um, get, Rewrite this equation so there's a single unknown. And I can use this, this equation right there again. 
I'm writing a whole bunch of stars here. Let's get rid of some of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, we want to find how far do you travel by train. So let's figure out the time of the train. So what we can do is we know the time of the bus is going to equal 14 minus the time traveled by train, simply by rearranging this equation. So therefore, what we can say is 90 times the time traveled by train plus 80 times 14 minus the time of the train is equal to 1,210 kilometers. Now the wonderful thing about this is if you actually wrote all your units in here, they should all work out. And again, that's something good to do um, if, you, if you're, not just if you're studying physics, but useful if you're studying physics. So let's go now and let's isolate for t sub t. Um, so we're going to have 90 t um, plus, um, now they distribute, 1,120 I believe, minus 80 um, sub t. Oh, sorry, 80 t sub t, sorry. And this is 1,210. So we end up with 10 t sub t um, is equal to, well, 1,210 1, minus, I believe that's equal to, um, sorry, I had a pause here. <laughs> um, this is equal to 90, so I had a little moment there. So therefore, the time that they travel by train is equal to 90, um, 90 divided by 10. Sorry, there might have been a little hiccup there. Um, t sub t is equal to 9. So we know the trains travel for 9 hours. So if the train has traveled 9 hours, um, and we know that um, speed is equal to distance over time, um, we can say that um, the distance of the train is going to be 9 times 90 kilometers per hour. And notice, like I was saying, the cool thing here is 9 hours, 90 kilometers per hour, um, the hours units will actually cancel out. So that's why units are so great. They provide a little check in our work. So 9 times 90 is 810 kilometers. So therefore, um, he traveled 810 kilometers by train. So just to sum up a couple ideas, with these problems that are speed equals distance over time type relationships, um, you really have to play around and, and, and just kind of manipulate the equation, see where it takes you. Again, with more practice, you get better at seeing where you need to end up. Um, and a nice thing to do as you work through these is talk with your friends about different techniques you saw, what, what clues really suggested what you need to do. So anyways, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, as always, please let me know whether you're one of my students or not. I'm always happy to post something new. Have a great day.